Hey everybody, it's GliderCat, and it is time to play more Foundry. So, as we watch the sun rise on the horizon here, I'll give you a quick update. If you stuck with us for the last episode, we just did a little bit of aesthetic cleanup. Not a whole lot. Uh, we put some stairs in over by our xenoferrite mine so we can get up to this higher level of assemblers here and miner. And what else do we do? We drop some lights around the base. And we worked over here to put in, we put in some, I, I don't know what to call it, floor tiles. <laughs> These are building blocks, but basically a pathway here that's lighted to get up to our uh, Technum mine. And by doing this, I don't have to hit the, uh, the jump key to hop up the block. So I, with the stairs, you can just, you know, move forward normally and it automatically moves you up a level or down a level. So that was really the basic uh, gist of all we did, just kind of digging out some blocks in order to put uh, these little paver, what I call pavers, <laughs> these building blocks. So let me know what you think. If you saw the episode, let me know uh, if you thought that was worthwhile. We'll probably do another one or two of those along the way. But as we, uh, for this episode, we need to expand our solar power array and then maybe clean things up a little bit we are still running out of power at night we did drop you know more assemblers a drone miner you know a series of loaders uh, a couple episodes ago so and then uh in the very last episode i just dropped down i don't know maybe a dozen lights and the lights do consume power let's see if we look at the control panel here we can see there's 24 light poles now and that's consuming 115 kilojoules almost as much power about half the power of these three drone miners so yeah they take power so let's go ahead the other thing i was thinking of doing is maybe moving this solar panel this transformer and this battery up to our main solar power array up here up the steps and the reason for doing that uh, i think it'll be a little cleaner and then i can put a set of steps here to get up to the solar power array and that might that might look a lot nicer than what we've got so maybe we do that i need to find a home for transformers so it takes three blocks i guess i could slot or no it takes two blocks i guess i could slot them like right here i don't want it to look too crowded but maybe right there let's uh let's clean this up let's just dive in and start doing this Let's grab this stuff out. We know we, we don't want this here anymore. So I'm just going to hit Z. And uh, I mentioned in the last episode, if you didn't catch it, I used to think that you had to have the drill equipped in order to do demolition mode, but you don't. You can have anything equipped. And as soon as you hit Z, you just point at what you want to remove and, you know, hit your primary mouse button and it will be removed. So you don't need to have, uh, looks like my inventory is probably full. You don't need to have the um, the drill equipped to demolish things. So let's just go and drop. Let's drop another solar panel here. I'm leaving one space in between. So let's continue with that pattern. And I'm thinking we may extend out this way and put another row of solar panels or maybe even a mirror image of this part. So maybe put batteries on the far end and then right back to back more solar panels but we'll see as we go let's see also along the way i took uh the opportunity to gather some xenoferrite plates that we have been producing so we should have a lot in inventory and i've got a lot of technum rods as well i might just go ahead and build a bunch of building blocks while we're waiting so we've got those queued up and that may free up a few inventory spaces that i need here too so we'll let that go and our transformer, we talked about maybe putting it up here. And you can see why I need steps because I just keep falling off of ledges here. All right, let's go to our backpack and drag the transformer onto our electrical hot bar, our power hot bar. And let's find a place here for this guy. Uh, we just do it like that. Now we need to connect this guy up to a power pole doesn't really matter a whole lot which one might look better with this guy and then we can get rid of 
this oh, this stuff down here. Let's go. Looks like I've got demolition mode still in play. Let's see. Origin better object has reached its maximum amount of connections. Oh, I see. I'm still in the uh, power line mode. So I'm gonna hit Z to clear this out. Get that out. All right. And then what I'm thinking is putting a, a set of stairs going right up this way. We'll hop over these, this, this uh, conveyor. And let's put another battery. Let's see. Looks like I've got these spaced one apart. Let's go ahead and put the battery, put the panel facing in. Boom. wire that guy up so they're go both going to this so let's wire this guy up here to this power pole okay that one has reached the maximum number of connections so they can only have five connections so what we could do is move let's see that guy's only got three connections I'm going to take this guy off and replace that and connect it up to a different power pole. That way we can uh, hopefully make this look a little better. Wire this up to this guy this time. Then I can wire this guy up to this guy. One, two. Oh, I see. I see. I see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's solve that by putting a power pole somewhere back here. Let me just see. Let's extend these. Uh, let's extend the platform back here. A few here because we're going to need more space. And I'm just wondering if I can put a power pole behind these guys and have it look a little bit better. Let's try that. And again, I don't know how to remove cables. So why don't we knock this guy out? That's something I'm going to have to look up. And let's wire these guys up to this power pole. Strong. Strong. And then let's connect these two power poles. Those guys are connected. Let's connect these two power poles. Let's see. That did not go as planned. So I'm going to delete it. Let's try again. Let's uh, clear this guy out. Drop this down. Boom. And once again, we'll take the wire here to here. And then here to here. And then here here to here and then here to here all right and then we got to get these guys going here to here and here to here all right i think that's what i want i think that's what i want let's see these batteries are charging I'm guessing they might lose all their charge when I pull them off the network. I'm not sure. We'll see. All right. I think everybody's connected up. And then we might need to drop another transformer here somewhere. Let's see. Why don't we drop a transformer here? We'll craft another one. Not really sure how many of these we need. Let's go ahead. Once this crafts up, you can see in the bottom left, it's still building. So let's drop this guy right there. Whoop. Let's move it over one. This guy's got four connections already. So I 
think we're going to have to drop another power pole down. Hmm, we've got a little bit of room back here. I wonder if we should just put a line of transformers here and then put power poles this way. Let's take a look and see what you guys think. Ah, we'll worry about that later. Let's go ahead and build a couple more batteries. Boom, boom. And then uh, probably at least four solar panels. We'll get those guys crafting up. This guy has four connections. So we're going to probably just want that last connection to go to a power pole. And let's drop the batteries down first. This guy can be right up next to that one. Boom. And then this one we want control panels facing each other drop another power pole let's see how about i want to be able to walk through this stuff let's do it here and i'll grab my power line and i'm going to connect this guy to that pole and then what i'm going to do if i go ahead and click another building it's going to extend i think it's going to extend power cable from whatever the last thing I clicked on to this. If I just scroll off of this power line in my hot bar, boom, and then go back. Now it restarts the, uh, the kind of the, what I would call the pathing for this stuff. So now I can wire from this pole to this battery. And it's a little easier to keep track of what you've got wired where. So now that guy's got five, this, um, this transformer is not plugged in, so let's go do him. Boom, boom. So now he's got three connections. We need to reserve one to go to the next pole. And then this guy's not yet connected. So let's drop a pole here. Let's go craft some more of those. Boom. And then let's have these guys connect up. This pole to this pole. All right. And then let's get the solar panel on the network. Go from here to that guy. So now we've got that solar panel up. Let's go ahead and extend our platform. Quite a few building blocks here, so we're in good shape there. I might go grab, make a quick run for Technum Rods, because I'm sure we have an assembler that's backed up. So let's go do that. Make use for handy new walkway here. And we'll hop back over this. We've got 200 Technum Rods sitting here. I'm just going to grab these to make sure we have enough building materials and let that fill up again. I think we've got, what, another couple solar panels in our inventory? We've got four. Good. So let's go drop this guy here. Boom. And then how about another one? Boom. And then we'll do the same thing, same routine here, maybe a power pole every two solar panels. And we'll wire this guy up here. Wire up both of our solar panels. This one needs to be connected. That guy there. So he's got four connections. So if we want to go out more this direction, I've got a, I can I've got one more connection I can extend out that way if we need to. Let's put this guy on the network. Boom, boom. And then let's take a look at extending out further this way. Not with those, but with building blocks. We've got, yeah, we've got some room. Let's do it. Let's grab this space. Boom. I'm going to 
craft some more building blocks while we're at it doing this. And then let's see. These guys don't have enough. These power poles aren't going to have enough connections to do both the solar panels and extend our platform. So we're probably going to need to, let's see. Let's go ahead and drop some panels. And maybe leave one row of space here so you can walk and see. Come on, how about that? That and that. How's that look? And let's drop our power poles behind here. Boom. And let's connect these guys up. Power pole to power pole. And then solar panel to power pole. And solar panel to power pole. All right, so we've got two more solar panels online. Let's go ahead and make one, two, three more solar panels if we can. One, two, three more. And then batteries, what do I have? I can make nine. How many more do we want to make? see here what do we have so far and I took the one off down there so we've got one two three four about six let's do three more batteries one two three and we'll follow the same kind of pattern here with these guys once they craft up Hopefully these guys are online. Let's take a look. We've got eight solar panels and five batteries so far, it looks like. So I'm wondering if one of our batteries isn't connected up. There's four. There's two down here. So someone's not connected up. Let's just take a look at our connections. So we've got these two are connected to this power pole. That power, is con power pole is connected to this guy. Here's our battery that's not connected. It's right here in the middle. I'm gonna pop my flashlight on. This guy has one, two, three. So he's got two more connections. Let's go ahead and connect this guy up to this power pole. And we'll take a look at our energy grid. Okay, now it's showing the six batteries and eight solar panels. Got two more or three more batteries that got crafted for us. So let's go ahead and drop these down. We'll just continue this pattern here back to back and then having the control panel space each other. And let's see. I think I need to put a couple power poles down here and here. Let's uh, build a couple more though, or let's uh, let's not. Let's save the inventory space. So let's connect these guys up. I'm just looking at our pattern here. So this guy is going to go here, and this guy is going to go here. And then we connect these two power poles up. Those guys are now connected. And then this battery needs to be connected to this power pole. So those guys should, oh, everybody's connected to the power poles and the power poles are all connected except for these two. So let's connect them up. You to you. All right, and then let's think about dropping another transformer. Kind of, let's see, maybe. That guy's got three, four connections. We could just drop one. Not really sure how many transformers we really need. I'd have to do the math. If anybody knows the ratio, go ahead and put it in the comments. Let's just drop another transformer here. Connect these guys up. Boom, boom. There's an open slot there. Now he's maxed out. Got 
power pole is. Let's take a look at our energy grid. We're not producing right now. We've got eight solar panels, nine batteries. You can see the batteries are being depleted pretty quick here. We've got three transformers giving us 15 millijoules. Let's look at our power consumers. So our power consumers are only consuming like 400 to, oh, it just spiked there at 800, 865. 865 kilojoules, that's well short of the 15 millijoules. So we should have plenty of power on our grid. And this is actually the capacity that we're pushing down now. It looks like 333 millijoules stored up in our batteries. And we're using 515 per second, or kilojoules per second. So that's coming down. We'll have to just keep an eye and see if we've got enough battery storage and if these guys are actually getting fully charged every every day i'm tempted to drop three more solar panels while we're at it we've got time this episode so let's just keep this focused on the energy grid and let's put down three more solar panels one two three get those crafting up let's take a look at our inventory see if i should go make a run for technum plate or for uh xenoferrite plates why don't we do that while we're crafting things. So I'm going to run up here and grab some plates out of here and up out of this guy. And then maybe I'll make a quick run. We're going to put some stairs here soon, maybe this episode. I'm going to run over here and go get some Technum rods. 152. I'll take them. All right. Our solar panels have been crafted, so let's go drop these in. Looks like we're putting the panels all facing the same direction on this one. So let's drop one there. And here and here. Whoops. Look at that one block off but it's easy enough to change and you don't lose your resource when you uh, go into demolition mode that looks right that looks a little better right and then one more here and let's drop down our power poles we're gonna need i'm gonna need one two more power poles let's go craft those up one two Take too long to craft. There's our first one. Or there we go. We got them. So every two solar panels, we drop one of these guys. And now let's connect these up. I'm going to need actually some more power line. Let's craft some of that up. Power line. So we'll grab about 40 of those just so we have them on hand. Let's see, this solar panel is the first guy. Let's take him there. Let's connect these two power poles. Boom, boom. Then let's take this solar panel and get him on line. Boom, boom. And then let's wire this pole up to the next pole. Boom, boom. And then we want to get this last solar power uh, panel online boom, boom. And we should be all connected up this very first power line connects us to the rest of them so let's see we've got let's see what we've got here in terms of counts we've got two four six eight ten solar panels let's just verify that those are all connected in 11 solar panels just one more where is the 11th one is it down here one level yeah there's another one down here i can almost get rid of this level but I'll leave that for now and then we've got what two three four five six seven eight nine something like nine batteries let's see nine batteries everything's connected up so we're in good shape hopefully that's enough power to hold us out for a while 
If not, we've got room to grow more, but we've added quite a bit of power generation here. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it a little easier to get up there. Let's put some stairs here. Uh, just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to drop some base blocks here. And then we need a way to get up this. Let's put, let's put a couple stairs here. I'm thinking maybe we want to go up a level. Let's just see. How this will work. Tempted to. Tempted to have these blocks come out like this. Not quite like that. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's just see. Do this now. Can I drop some steps right there? Right there. Okay, so that gets us up here. I'm tempted to go even one more. Why not? Let's just do it and see how that looks. If it looks a little goofy, we can always get rid of it. All right. So now we can get up here. We'll pop some steps here. Get up here. We could put some, let's see, this is a little bit of aesthetics here, but let's just do it. Let's do it. Grab this. And then maybe put a row of railings here. Let's see. Let's craft some of those up. Where are those? They are right here. Five, ten. Grab ten of those. Should craft up pretty quick. Some more blocks this way and maybe drop railings on top of that cool not bad not bad all right now we can get up there a lot easier we've beefed up our solar power quite a bit in the next episode, we can check and see. We'll check our batteries and see if they charge up fully during the daytime. But I think that's pretty good for this episode. I think we uh, we got done what we set out to do. We really amped up, <laughs> literally amped up, no pun intended, our power generation. These guys should all be connected up now. Nine batteries. Nine batteries and 11 solar panels. So we've got a fairly powerful energy grid here. We can always expand it. We can go up another another terrace here if we need to. Basically, this is going to power our local, kind of the local factory here. You know, we were talking about in a previous episode, the decision between using building blocks and the low voltage power network versus using power poles to move power around and then transformers. And I was giving this some thought, and once once we get to mining the remote resources on the map, like say this Ignium ore, we're probably just going to set up another little power array here. I'm guessing another solar power array for this mining operation. And then maybe once the mining, once the mine is depleted, maybe just clear all that stuff out. And then I think the belts or the conveyors don't require any power. So we'll see if there's another way to move resource. But uh, I'm guessing right now, based on what I see in the game, we're going to have to run belts or something all the way from that Ignimore. Or at least run Science Pack 2s or 3s or whatever we can produce over here <laughs> uh, for a long distance. But I'm guessing this Ignimore is going to need to be combined with products that are made from Technomore and our Xenoferrite. So we're probably going to have to run a good amount of belts. Where is our Xenoferrite? There it is. So that'll be interesting to see. Let's just take a look at our 
crafting menu. Yeah, I don't see anything here yet to transport long distances. And if we go and we look at the, um, let's look at our lab menu, with the G key and see if there's anything here that looks like it's going to allow us to transport resources a long way. That may be coming later, some type of train or mine carts or, or something to, uh, to transport resources. These map scan things too are kind of interesting. I'm wondering if they will, they will tell us the total capacity of an ore deposit. Like right now we can only see one block at a time from what I can tell, or if these will pop up new uh, locations for these, for these ore. So here's an Olumite scan. I think there's some more map scans in here. Here's the Ignium scan, Xenoferrite scan and Technum scan. So, all right, that's it for this episode. Hopefully we've got enough power and we can go back to focusing on getting our science pack two production up. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's see, are these guys producing? They are producing. Let's take a look and see how much is coming in. 1.69 megajoules. We're using about, a, I'm guessing that's about a third of that. So two thirds of that hopefully is getting stored in the batteries. But uh, I would expect them to charge up a little faster than that. So we might need, yeah, we may need to expand the power array again. We'll see. Next episode, we will get back to um, probably expanding our xenoferrite mine in preparation for getting the building materials automated to build the uh, science pack twos. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, yeah, we got done what we wanted to get done. The base is starting to look a little bit nicer. So for now, I think I'm just going to sign off here. And I want to thank you guys for watching. So this is Glider Cat saying I'll see you in the next one.